di benedirmi e io ti benedico. Di fratello a fratello. Un abbraccio. Grazie. I hope you were blessed with what you've just seen and heard. I wanted to close the video with a couple of reflections, just so we don't miss what Pope Francis said, and also a challenge. Hearing is not enough. We must act. We must keep up with the Spirit of God and ride this wave of the tsunami. Firstly, it's both historic and healing to hear a Roman pontiff refer to us as brothers and sisters. Pope Francis is the head of 1.2 billion Christians and he embraced us into his family as brothers and his sisters and calls us to put an end to our separation. He mentions in his video that he is yearning to see an end of our separation. Pope Francis himself is the one who is asking us for full unity and full communion. What is striking is that he awakens us to the fact that the real communion is not the bread, but the brother. When he uses his story about the brothers of Joseph, with, because of their hunger, starvation in fact, they were then propelled to Egypt to go find bread to eat. But they found something more than bread. They found their brother. And this, Pope Francis, is saying this is what we find in the true communion. We find each other. We find our brotherhood. We find our brother and our sister that we thought we'd lost. When we look for bread, which we think we need, we are going to find our brother, with, which is what we really need. We need to find that we are brothers and sisters again. We who are not Roman Catholics are hungry for the bread of communion. But Pope Francis tells us again that the bread is secondary to brotherhood. The real gift of communion is finding our brother. For those of us who have ears to hear, let us hear because this is both profound and revolutionary. Pope Francis is calling us into an authentic communion based on the fact that we are brothers and sisters in Christ, not communion through our common traditions. This is a new way forward. And for many of us, this is the way we have been waiting for. We must seize this moment. Therefore, I'd like to challenge leaders of all non-Roman Catholic Church denominations, I'm speaking to all of us, all Reformed, all non-Roman Catholic Church leaders, that have not yet signed the joint declaration on the doctrine of justification, which brought an official end to the protest back in 1999. 15 years ago. The first step in dealing with spiritual racism is to abolish the law which empowers it. We need not to continue in the sins of our fathers. If we want, we can stop anytime we want. And I'm asking, I'm challenging by the Spirit of God that we as non-Roman Catholics, we, we stop continuing in the sin of separation that has been perpetuated through the history of the church. We are a new generation. Let's take a new stand. I challenge all church leaders to join the Lutheran Worldwide Federation and the Methodist Worldwide Church in agreeing with and accepting that the protest is over. Are you willing to agree that mankind is saved by grace through faith alone to good works, not by good works. This was the joint declaration that was signed back in 1999. It's a new day for Christianity. 
How can we continue to live as Protestants in a post-Protestant era? We are out of sync with reality. Let's wake up and unite so that the world may believe that God sent his son into the world and loves them as much as he loves his very own son. Our unity is the basis for our credibility. And our separation, our division, is the basis for them not believing us. Diversity is divine. It is division that's diabolic. I will close with this. Pope Francis personally told me that we are free to allow this message that you are listening to, this video that you are watching, to go all over the world on any and all media. We asked him personally before we made this video. So share the good news and let's begin an epidemic of love and unity among Christians of all denominations. In the name of Jesus, go and infect the world. May the peace and goodness of God the Father, the joy of God the Son, and the power of God the Spirit follow you on your pilgrimage. I am Tony Palmer, your brother in Christ. Bless you.